to import issues based off a of CSV file. You're going to click on the settings cog in the top right corner. Now we get to the system. Then you're going to want to scroll down on the left hand side and find external import. You're going to click on CSV. And then you're going to go ahead and use the file that you want to use. One thing to think about too is to check the CSV importer documentation as it applies to different formattings that you can use uh, in your CSV. It's going to give you a file encoding automatically and the default comma value for the CSV delimiter. Go ahead and click next. Then you can either select a project or if it's already defined in the CSV you can click defined in CSV. Here you're going to go ahead and map your field values. So if you want to map assignee, you're going to go ahead and select assignee from the drop down. Then you want to make sure to also check off the field map value. And you go through the rest of these and map whatever fields you want to map and then check off the box. The following fields are going to be required in order to have this work as expected. Project key. project name, project type. And lastly, you're also going to have to do summary. Once those values are specified and the remaining of your custom fields are specified as to what you want to map it to, then you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click on next. Now it's going to tell you what values you want these fields to populate as in JIRA. Out of the box, it'll give you the, the values based off the CSV. However, if you'd like to change them, here's the place you would do so. Now you click Begin Import. Once the import's complete, it'll tell you one project and 12 issues imported successfully. Or depending on the number of projects you have and issues you have, it'll say something different. Um, then you can go back into your project and review the issues that are all there. And it looks like they all are.